Peace and greetings, peace and power, beautiful people. All right, so as some of y'all know, um, I've been asked to do readings all these years, and I usually say no, because um, I didn't want to get that involved, and other reasons, and uh, unless I had some kind of vision or a dream of the person or all kind of extremely obvious signs that I'm really, really supposed to help someone, then then I would do the reading. But um, it's never been something I offer. I still don't plan to make it be something that I offer. But when asked, uh, it's been too many messages now at this point um, that I'm supposed to say yes. Because uh, tarot has been something that I have um, studied, but really just for myself. And because um, honestly, I, I, I think it's, I'm moved by the art of it. And also, you know, when you understand um, the laws of the universal principles, and you know that nothing happens by chance and coincidence, really. So you pull a certain card, it's you look at it from a point of view like, well, why did I pull that card out of all of the cards? You know, and you just kind of go from there and um, just look at the messages. It's not specifically about uh, fortune telling and all this stuff like that. So anyway, the reason that I have this card here is some of you all know my friend Torian and um, he's my teacher. And I watch his videos and take notes. And um, tonight I just started blatantly asking him questions. And um, he was answering them. Uh, the pages that I would just land on randomly would be the immediate answer to something that I wanted him to clarify for me. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, you see his name that he went by the opulent emperor. His brother did a painting of him as the emperor card. And I jokingly said, Torian, are you really here answering my questions? I dropped the, the pages and the book landed open on the opulent, I mean, on the emperor page. And then at that point, I just, just cried. So, um, anyway... So that's the start of me saying yes when when asked if I do readings. And it's all because of Torian. And also, I have to give credit to another friend of mine named Jade, who goes by Empress of Her Tarot. That's her YouTube channel. This utterly adorable deck that she showed me years ago, um, I fell in love with at first sight like if there's a such thing as love at first sight for a deck of cards for me it was this deck it's called the everyday witch tarot i mean the everyday the everyday witch tarot deck yeah i'm saying it right and every card has this cute magical person with a cat on every single card except for the king of swords i believe he has a dog Every card has a cat or a few cats, and cats just melt my heart, even though I have a ton of dogs. I also have three cats, and one of them is a black cat, and he is super magical. So anyway, so uh, just following spirit, um, I've, been, I've been working on uh, this card, this, this reading, because it got really emotional um, with me and Torian and just and the messages that were coming through the cards I was pulling for the sister it was just all such a beautiful night I've been working on this reading and and writing everything down for her I kid you not for like the last two hours um so her candle has been burned out her incense long gone sage and palo it's just ice cold at this point but it, it was all lovely and smoking a little while ago, but um, that's neither here or there. So, just 
get these back in order. I love the story that is told in the way these cards are pulled. So, off of Torian's guidance, the way I'm doing my readings is uh, asking, like, what is the overall situation? What's 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 going on in the recent past? Um, future energies. What could we be looking at? What are your hopes? What are your fears? And then um, I, I told her to, to give me two questions. And so she asked her two questions. And if I felt uncertain about the message pulled for each card, um, then I pull an extra one for, for clarification. And it's just all included. But this reading was just so clear as day. Like there was just nothing needed to be confirmed. It was just amazing. Um, so what's the situation? We started out with Page of Wands for that. And uh, there it is. Page of Wands, that's a lot of youthful energy. Please forgive my camera movements. This is the best I can do right now. Uh, it's like four in the morning um, or later. I don't even know anymore. But so Page of Wands, that's earth energy, uh, youthful energy. Good news is on the way. Spending time in nature, listening to nature. Um, there may be some younger people who uh, need to be taught by you. Or there may be some younger energy within yourself, some youthful energy within yourself that needs to be released. So pay attention to those things. Um, definitely abundance on its way. An increase of abundance on its way is usually what this card is a sign of. And then recent past, we pulled the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, we're seeing rest. We're seeing not looking too overworked. We're seeing uh, security. Um, completion is what the number nine represents. Uh, this rest and this wealth is coming from having made a, a good decision in the past, making the right choice and um, independence. So what I'm showing here in this card is that the decision that you made in your recent past was the right decision. And then future energies. Where is that leading? That decision, where is that leading? Leading to Ace of Wands. And that's definitely something good to see. In the Ace of Wands, uh, that's a green light. That's a fabulous start. That's a fast start. That's things taking off. Um, getting up from that stillness, that rest. You might be feeling um, like you're not doing a lot right now, but it's just a moment of rest. Um, you're about to master your crafts, your gifts, your talents, your magic. Uh, I heard when I was looking and really studying this card, I, I heard that fire is your tool. Um, and the ways to tap into that fire medicine is through incense, Palo Santo, sage, candles, um, your strength amplifies with the use of fire. That's your yes, that's your medicine um, spiritually is fire. That's what I heard for you specifically, sis, when I pulled this card. Um, also, singing came up. Sing to your angel guides. Sing your affirmations. That was like direct, clear instructions that I heard. Sing your affirmations. It will have a major effect on how you feel and the way you feel directly affects what you attract. Um, from there, we went to hopes. What is it you're hoping for? And out came the strength card. And that's something like we all want the strength to tame the beast, which is your ego and your rage. Those are the two specific words that I heard when it came to taming the beast was taming your ego and your rage and having the ability to handle life's uh, situations 
and um, the confidence that it comes in taking responsibility of our problems, which is interesting because you said some beautiful things um, when you reached out to me. And it really centered around that. It centered around confidently taking responsibility for our problems um, and not forcing things. And you see the way she's positioned with the line, which is these are both of you. The line is you um, being tamed. Um, and then uh, the witch is you also with that calm, confident knowing that she has things under control even the storm behind her. Either she has it under control or she set it in motion to stir things up because it's time for a change. That's like some Oya energy right there. So um, it can be interpreted either way. Then moving out of that into what are your potential fears or possible fears? And out came the three of pentacles. And um, that means... There could be a fear of teaching. There's a calling, maybe a calling that you uh, have been hesitant to answer, which could involve teaching or teamwork or working at a high level, a higher level, and creating amazing things there, meeting those expectations. Um, so that's something to, to reflect on. So now for her two questions, your two questions, sis. Your first question was, what is my divine purpose? And um, I'm just, you know, really just let y'all ask, ask the questions the way you want. My first thought was that question was a, a, a bit vague. But Spirit said, no, just, 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 just let it flow. We're just going to pull a card for that. I don't like to answer. I don't like questions that's about... Um, relationship so much like uh can I get this person back and stuff like that but again it's not my job really to tell you what to ask so the card that comes out is the card that comes out regardless of what the question is so that was your question and um oh and I have this backwards look at what came through on that question what is my divine purpose and we pull out the high priestess, which is a two. I'm going to go over the, the, the picture that's painted in this layout with the, the order of everything. But there was, there's a lot of twos here. There's a lot of doubling. Um, but in the high priestess, we have this yin and yang balance. If you notice her candles, which are also pillars. Also, her, her witch hat is the straightest hat in the deck. Everyone's hat like that all the hats are like that all the hats are like that just naturally positioned hats but her hat look at it that is um indicating her being fully tapped in intuitive uh her her mouth is closed her eyes are closed but the third eye is wide open and that's what that hat is symbolizing the, the 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 pineal gland everything is just on point it's it's sharp it's on point um fully tapped in um this is on the 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 high priestess is on the yin of the yin and yang she's the yin that's introspective that's receiving um when you take a note of all the books behind her a lot of studying but the way they're closed and they kind of look put away She's got a lot of studying done already. Um, she has a lot of knowledge tucked under her belt. And she's putting it to use now. And she's seeing things. And she's not necessarily saying, speaking on what she's seeing. She's just letting it be. And continuing to manifest and let things unfold. Uh, because she knows her powers. Clearly, she's very powerful uh, and confident in that. Um, so that's definitely, there's a, there's a, there's a high calling that I'm seeing in your divine purpose. It definitely has a lot to do with this, this page of wands. So we started out right away about good news coming, promotion type of energy, elevating and ranks, 
um, and possibly teaching the youth. So that's definitely something to think about. These pillars look like they represent students to me. Um, and then without asking for a confirmation card, the card for the second question really was a confirmation card. Um, so question number two was, how can I be a healer to the people around me? That's a really beautiful question. Like this, this is very, um, these are, these are not self-centered type of questions, but again, you know, it's where a person that is, where a person is at, that's where they're at. So there's no right or wrong question. But this question um, says a lot about where her focus is. And her focus is not specifically on herself. And and what do we pull for someone who's thinking like that? We pull the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is focused. Look how serious she is here. Uh, a lot of righteous energy going on in this card. Her sword is up um, like a judge with, it, with, with her gavel. Um, that's how you say it just up ready to strike ready to end the court um, the case with the decision to be made um, for the in the name of justice and the Queen of Swords is all about that only concerned with truth and justice um, sometimes the Queen of Swords comes out if someone's lost a loved one so I don't know if that might be something you've dealt with in the past um like actual loss um she is definitely the energy of career big visions seeking perfection um you want to keep that all within balance like this card here we're seeing a lot of balance here so make sure the seeking of perfection doesn't get out of balanced I would say that that's really the only thing to, to really watch out for uh, with the message in this Queen of Swords, but it definitely is a strong card for um, career and and uh, being in charge, taking charge, and nurturing your ideas, being intelligent, level-headed, and logical. So the story that's playing out or the what you see being repeated here are twos. In her two questions, those were the only two major arcana cards. So that's interesting that her two questions resulted in the two cards that kind of hold held the most weight in the in the reading. And then uh, she has two wands and two pinnacles. She has two, wait, I'm sorry, I did, I'm sorry, I said that wrong about the major arcana. Her major arcana was her strength and her high priestess. I just caught that. I didn't mean to say it that way. Um, she has two court cards, which is her queen of swords and her page of wands. The beginning, sorry, the beginning and her ending were both court cards. So those were, those are where the twos were showing up. And then she also has two cards that has um, two candles, two pillars with two candles. You see it right there in the Three of Pentacles. And you see it right here in the High Priestess. It's a lot of, a lot of doubling in this reading. And uh, when I asked her her birthday, it's on the 20th. That's a two. So that was definitely not by coincidence. And then the high priestess is a two, which was a, the answer to her, the card for her first question. So there we have it. And uh, this to me is definitely saying you made the right decisions. You were definitely put here to teach. You have some battles you have overcome within yourself your gifts and your abilities are about to take off because of the decisions that you've made, which were the, which were the right decisions.
but you weren't sure about that. Don't fear teamwork. Don't fear the call to teach because that's leading you to your divine purpose. And that's exactly how you'll be able to help and heal the people around you, those you've met and know, and many others that you have not even met yet, that you will end up changing their lives. All right, that is a reading for the sister. I hope it brings you wonderful insight and peace. And I'm going to send you uh, pictures of all of my notes as well. And um, along with that, a breakdown of your uh, birth chart as well. So you also will have uh, some good timing on the movements of the planets. When to say certain affirmations a bit more than others. Even though we can always speak things into existence all times of the year. But there are certain times where the energy is a bit stronger for certain things. All right, sis. And to everyone else who watched, thank you for watching my first recorded reading. It was definitely fun.